Hello and welcome to this Hewlett Packard Enterprise 4 to 5 video tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to create and initialize a software security center database using the MySQL server framework. This video assumes that the MySQL server has been installed and that the software security center.sql scripts have been downloaded. Fire up the command prompt and make sure the MySQL server is running. Log into the server from the terminal with the root account. By default, root accounts don't have passwords. Create a Software Security Center, or SCC, database. Create a user for the database using the command create user admin identified by then the password. This will be the systems administrator. Now to grant all privileges to the new administrator. Use the command grant all privileges on the name of the database to and then the name of the administrator. With that taken care of, exit the MySQL server with the backslash Q command. Now navigate to where you've downloaded the scc.sql scripts. Log on to the server with the newly created admin account. Run the createtables.sql script. Now let's configure the MySQL options file. Go to where you installed the MySQL server. By default, it's in the Program Files folder. Open the MySQL server folder with the version you're using. Open the my.ini file in a text editor of your choice. Under the MySQL ID section, set the max allowed packet to 1G. If the option is not there, create it. Then enter the same command under the MySQL dump section. You should create this section if it is not already there. Now back under MySQL ID, add the following variable configurations. Feel free to pause the video and copy these down. Note that the INNODB file format and INNODB large prefix settings are only for the MySQL 5.6 servers. Now set the base directory, data directory, and the port number if they weren't already set yet. Make sure to uncomment these variables first. The default number for the port is 3306. For the base directory, Set the root of the MySQL server installation path. Set the data folder for the server. In this video, we'll be putting it under the installation path. We're all set here. Save the file and close the editor. Restart the MySQL server. Do this by opening the services window and locating the server process. Right-click the process, and restart it. The server should create and initialize an SSC database. You can find the documentation for all Fortify products at protect724.hp.com. If you have any questions, technical support can be reached at fortifytechsupport at hp.com. Thank you.